Nifontov is uh, leading here by a Yuko with uh, just under two minutes to go. The odd thing for the Germans is not only does um, Sven face going out in the first round, but uh, we've just seen Ole Bischoff lose in the first round to the other Russian, uh, Sirazudin Magomedov. So Magomedov has uh, put out Ole Bischoff and uh, it's beginning to look as though Nifontov is going to account for Sven Marish here early on. So uh, some degree of symmetry there. Both the Germans, well, there's still a bit of time for Sven, but uh, not looking too good. to the last minute and uh, Marish not able to get the score that he needs to keep him in this contest. Well, it was a good effort from Maresh, but he got countered by Nifontov. Wazari on the board, and now Osai Komi. And it looks as though they've uh, changed that to... Uh well, he signalled Wazari. There's only one Yuko on the board, so there should have been a second Yuko all right you know he's tapped out anyway but they missed putting the yuko on if they changed it from wazari to yuko that's fine but they missed putting the yuko on so it's all of uh it's all immaterial because uh marish tapped out anyway nifontov it is who goes into the next round he joins uh, his teammate sirazudin magomedov in the next round So that will keep um, Vitaly Makarov happy for a while. Both his fighters are in the under 81 kilo category through to the next round. So there's the, there's the Wazari signal from the referee. That got changed to Yuko. There was already a Yuko on the board so it should have shown two Yukos and then the Osai Komi. All right, it doesn't really 